solve log equations. Example 1. Log base 27 of x equals 1 third. Method 1 to do it, rewrite as an exponential equation. So if the exponent you put on a 27 to get x is 1 third, then 27 to 1 third is x. Because 1 third is the exponent you put on a 27 to get x. And then you just turn it around, x equals 27 to 1 third. You work this out, either a calculator or if you want exact, you do 3 to the third is 27. This one's rigged up so it works out. 3 times 1 third is 1, so that's just 3, x equals 3. Method 2, put 27 as a base on both sides like this. Here's the original. So you put 27 as a base on both sides. That's certainly equal. It's, these two are equal. So 27 is the left side ought to equal 27 to the right side. And then as I explained in previous videos, log base 27 of x, that's the exponent you put on a 27 to get x. It's on a 27. This exponent that you put on 27 to get x is on 27. So you get x. And then 27 and 1 third, you do the same thing. 3 to the third to the 1 third. The threes cancel out. 3 and 1 third. And you get x equals 3. I actually like this one better, but it's either one, either method. Okay, um, example two log base 10. Whenever you see LOG, just think in your mind, it's log base 10. So if we want to undo that log base 10, we'll put 10 as a base on both sides of the equation. 10 to the log base 10 of x equals x. And 10 to the 4.2, that's going to be this. And a mental check is log base 10,000 is 4 because 10 to the 4th is 10,000 and log base 10 of 100,000 is 5 because 10 to the 5th is 100,000 and we want it to be 4.2 4.2 is in between those and our 15,000 is in between these two numbers so it's it's plausible the answer is reasonable example 3 Here's a log equation. It looks pretty tough, but using the log rules, you can contract a sum of logs back to the log of the product where they came from. So we're going to just contract this back, and that still equals 2. Then I'm going to put 8 as a base on both sides in order to undo this log 8 and just give me this inside part. 8 squared is 64. Then uh, foil this out so you get x squared minus 4x minus 32 when you do that. And then equals 64. You have to subtract 64 from both sides. So that knocks it off of this side and gives you 0. And negative 64 plus negative 32 is negative 96 and so now you got a trinomial to factor maybe it factors maybe it doesn't if it factors good if it doesn't use the quadratic formula then you're going to get uh, find out that this is, or this is a factorization x minus 12 times x minus 8 x plus 8 use the zero factor principle x equals 12 or x equals 8 you got to check both in the original equation because one of them or both of them might not work. So checking x equals 12, put the 12 in there for x here and here. I put the question mark because I don't know if it's equal yet. Log 16, log base 8 of uh, 4, and I still don't know if that's 2. I'll multiply them together. 16 times 4 is 64. Contract these back to a single log. Log base 8 is 64. 
that is 2 because 8 squared is 64 so it checks out okay check x equal 8 or negative 8 put that in for x you can stop right there because negative 8 plus 4 is a negative 4 and as explained in previous videos there's nothing you can raise 8 to in order to get negative 4 nothing works up there even if you have a negative number that just means reciprocal that's not going to make it negative so this is undefined undefined so x is not going to be negative 8 so x equals 12 is the only solution